How did Perseus's actions fulfill the prophecy about King Acrisius? If you are interested in this type of videos before moving on to this story, you can like the video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Since the pictures are made via AI, their styles may differ. Enjoy watching. King Acrisius of Argos would meet his end at the hands of his grandson. Fearing this fate, he imprisoned his daughter Danae to keep her childless. However, destiny cannot be thwarted. Zeus, the king of gods, enamored by Danae's beauty, visited her in the form of golden rain, and she gave birth to a son, Perseus. Acrisius, Indreed, set Danae, and the infant Perseus adrift in a chest on the sea. Fortune smiled on the mother and child as they were found and taken in by a kind fisherman, Dictis, on the island of Seriphos. Perseus grew up strong and brave, but their peace was disrupted by Polydectes, the island's ruler, who desired Danae. To remove Perseus from his path, Polydectes devised a cunning plan. He announced his intention to marry and requested from each suitor a horse as a gift. Perseus, unable to provide such a gift, rashly promised something far more daring, the head of the Gorgon, Medusa. Medusa was a fearsome creature, once a beautiful maiden, cursed by Athena to have snakes for hair and a gaze that turned anyone who looked directly at her into stone. This quest seemed impossible, but the gods favored Perseus. Athena gifted him a reflective shield, Hermes a sharp sword, and from Hades came a helm of darkness, rendering its wearer invisible. Guided by divine help, Perseus journeyed to the end of the world, where he tricked the Greyer, sisters to the Gorgons, into revealing Medusa's location. Armed with this knowledge and flying with winged sandals from the Hyperboreans, Perseus approached Medusa's lair while she slept. Using the shield's reflection to avoid her deadly gaze, he beheaded Medusa in one swift strike. The journey back was no less adventurous. In Ethiopia, Perseus encountered Andromeda, chained to a rock as a sacrifice to a sea monster. Struck by her plight and beauty, Perseus used Medusa's head to petrify the monster, rescuing Andromeda, who became his wife. Upon his return to Seriphos, Perseus found his mother in danger from Polydectes. In a dramatic confrontation, he unveiled Medusa's head, turning Polydectes and his court to stone. Dictes became the new ruler, and Perseus, along with Danae and Andromeda, journeyed back to Argos. However, destiny's shadow loomed. In Argos, Perseus participated in an athletic contest. Tragically, his discus throw went astray, striking and killing an elderly spectator who was none other than King Acrisius, fulfilling the prophecy. Perseus, distraught by this accidental patricide, traded kingdoms with his cousin Megapenthes, becoming the king of Tiryns and founding Mycenae. He ruled wisely, and his lineage included great kings like Heracles. As for Medusa's head, it found a place on Athena's shield, the Aegis, instilling fear in the hearts of her enemies. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda's names were immortalized among the stars as constellations, a testament to their enduring legacy. Their story, woven from the threads of fate, divine will and human courage, remains a timeless tale in the rich tapestry of Greek mythology.